Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today's video is about how to lose fat, as you can tell by the title of this video. As always, if you haven't already, subscribe, like the video, well, watch the video, then like it, because you might not like it, I don't know. But um, make sure you're following me on Instagram, and yeah, let's get into the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like oh how to lose weight I'm just gonna assume you mean fat not actual like weight like muscle and that kind of stuff so losing fat doesn't necessarily mean losing weight so let's start with the basics I kind of want to make this video kind of short and sweet I don't really want to babble on for too long I just need to tell you tell you the basics of it and then perhaps make like a more in-depth video um, some other time but this is just like your basic how to lose fat so starting off to lose any weight, fat, anything off of your body, you need to be in a caloric deficit. Okay, Bella, what the hell is a caloric deficit? Basically, you need to be below your maintenance calories. So, your maintenance calories are the calories you need to function on a day-to-day -day basis whilst maintaining your weight. However, if you want to lose fat, you need to be expending more than you consume. So let's say my average, this is just an average, this is just a random number. Let's say I consume 2,000 calories in a day to maintain my weight. You need to be anywhere below that to actually lose fat fat, weight, anything. So now that you understand that, there are loads of different calculators online that can help you calculate that exact number. It is different for everyone. Please, please, please do not copy someone else's like calories because it will not be the same as yours. Everyone has a different like like calorie consumption. It really depends on your age, on your height, on your weight, on what kind of things you do in your day to day, how much you expend on your day to day. So please don't copy anyone's calories. Please make sure you know your own. I'll leave a link down below. This is just the calorie calculator that I use and it's from bodybuilding.com. It's free to use, it's really quick, it's the easiest I found online. It is like the most generalized, it won't give you like the most exact number ever but it's something really nice to go off but take it with a pinch of salt you know don't take everything too literally just like kind of use that as a base and then figure out what your body reacts well to what it doesn't and so and so on now you're thinking okay so I have my calories what do I do with them? <laughs> like, how do I track how much I'm eating in a day? How how do I figure out if I'm eating below or above or at the same like caloric intake? How how do I figure this out, Bella? How do I know? How do I know? So you can find out through an app. I use the app called My Fitness Pal. I'll also link it down below if you want to see it. And basically, all this does is you can track your food during the day. So if you buy, let's say, a packet of vegetables, um, that packet of vegetables will have a barcode on it. All you need to do, get your phone, scan the barcode, and then put in how many like grams of it you're eating. I'm sure like a lot of people have a mini scale at home. If you don't, they can be very, very cheap from Amazon and things, or like eBay, they can be quite inexpensive. So I really recommend getting a, like a, little food weight um so you measure out your food as soon as you get like used to it and once you have your like normal foods in the app it's so quick and like at first it might be a bit of a headache to do because you have to like put all the initial foods in the app and everything but i promise you like results will come much quicker much 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 quicker if you know how much you're eating and if you know that you're eating the right amount and the right amount of protein and the right amount of this and that some people don't like tracking it's completely personal i love tracking just because i love to know that i'm actually on track and i'm actually eating the amount i need to either gain muscle or lose weight or maintain or anything like that so i really like to track myself just because it gives me like some reassurance it helps me control my portions a lot better because i'm having to put it all in the app and i don't want to trick myself and eat loads because i know i'm gonna have to like write it down but just know that um it can help in terms of 
fat loss because you'll know that you're eating less calories than you're expending during your day. So a lot of people believe that to lose fat it has all to do with the gym and just like how much you're running on the Stairmaster or like running on the Stairmaster. I mean the treadmill. God, if you can run on the Stairmaster, that is difficult. <laughs> Trust me, I've tried. I almost fell as well, so not the best thing. But a lot of people believe that all you have to do is just loads of cardio, 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 cardio. You can actually lose fat without any cardio at all. Obviously, it's good and it will help you because what basically happens when you do cardio is that you expend more calories. So through expending more calories, you're putting yourself in that caloric deficit. And when you're in that caloric deficit, you'll lose fat. However, a lot of people do loads and loads of cardio, but then eat really badly. Let's say they'll like expend 500 extra calories doing cardio, but then they'll eat 5,000 calories through like junk food and just unhealthy, highly caloric foods. That won't do anything. The cardio will just not really be for anything. It won't make you lose fat unless you're in that caloric deficit. So, like I said before, you're expending more than you're consuming. So your cal calories in versus calories out. I hope this makes sense. Um, but yeah, that is like kind of how you do it. So a lot of people want to build muscle and lose fat at the same time. Now this is a, like a tricky thing to do because for you to gain muscle, you have to be in a caloric um, surplus. What a caloric surplus is, is that you're over your uh, maintenance calories. So you're not under, you're not there, you're over it. And when you're over it and you're like weightlifting and really training your muscles hard, that's when you start to begin to build muscle. So it's very, very hard to build muscle and lose fat at the same time. Do you see why? Because let's say maintenance is here and to build muscle you have to be up here, but to lose fat you have to be down here. So I don't recommend doing both at the same time because there's not really a way of doing it. You either lose the fat first or you build the muscle first. You can't really do both at the same time. There are some small bits of evidence that you can, but the progress is much, much, much longer. It will take a lot more time to do. It's just not the most efficient way of doing it. The most efficient way of doing it is doing one first, then doing the other. So let's say you're slightly overweight and you wanna lose fat and then build muscle. You do that in that sequence. You lose the fat, then build the muscle. If you reckon that you're quite, um, petite, quite skinny, and you really wanna like build muscle more than you want to lose the fat, then you do it the other way around. So it's completely up to you which way you do it. It just depends on your body type, what your composition is as well. Composition, I mean like body fat percentage, that kind of thing. So it's really up to you which one you go ahead and do first. How I like to do it, this is just me personally, is that throughout the seasons of the year, I'll either cut bulk or maintain. Normally during like the winter times where like I'm gonna have loads of coats over me, no one's gonna really like see my stomach all the time, um, I'll then bulk because I'll then gain the weight during the winter which is building muscle and then after I've built my muscle I'm content with the muscle I've built over the winter I'll then proceed to slowly start to cut into the summer and by cutting I mean losing fat then there's like an awkward bit that's like not summer or winter in that period is usually when I'll just try and maintain my weight I'll do like maintenance training just to maintain everything I have um, kind of let my body settle in that area and then I'll start slowly bulking again. So it's like a pattern that I do every year. It's going to be different for everyone. Everyone's body type is totally different. Um, this is just the way I like to do it. It's totally up to you which way you want to do it. So yeah, decide what you want to do first. Do you want to build muscle or do you want to lose fat? Which one do you want to go ahead and start first and then focus on that for a good few months until you're content with your results. So until you've kind of lost enough fat and you feel like you're at a good body fat percentage or you've gained enough muscle and you kind of feel like you need to shed some fat. So that is the basics of kind of both losing fat and building muscle. I know this is a, about more about losing fat but I just wanted to include that in there as well because it's 
it's got a very direct correlation with losing fat so types of food this is an important category because I get a lot of questions asking me Bella I'm trying to lose fat what do I eat like what types of food are good for losing fat what types of food aren't it's a difficult question to answer because obviously I can just say just like you know eat healthy but you can still lose fat eating just about anything really I know that's like not what you want to hear and not what I should be saying but it's possible you can lose fat eating just around anything as long as you're under your calorie um your maintenance calories you can still lose fat but that's not a smart way to do it let's say you have 1500 calories to eat in a day and then your breakfast is a cheeseburger or whatever and that takes up a thousand calories you only have 500 left you're gonna be starving you are going to be hungry sorry about my squeaky chair but you're gonna be really hungry so it's really important to have volume i mentioned this on my instagram quite a lot as well um it's important to fill up your plate with as much volume as you can with the least calories possible what do i mean by this okay so you're gonna find foods that have a very low calorie intake vegetables salad and stuff like that have a super 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 low calorie intake so you can eat plates and plates and plates of these things and it'll only add up to let's say 200 300 calories whereas if you eat like like I said before a cheeseburger it could be like a thousand calories so that's kind of what you have to look at find things that are low calorie and try to eat as much as you can with loads of like nutritional value so vegetables that kind of thing while staying under your maintenance calories so you'll still be losing fat it's also very important when you're losing fat to focus a lot on your protein intake try and keep your protein high it's one gram of protein per pound of body weight is a good estimate just an estimate i'm not saying it's like a strict rule no just an estimate just what i myself go off and it's just something to kind of consider you know maybe aim for that if you don't exactly reach it it's not a huge problem but just aim to have around about one gram of protein per pound of body weight so yeah like i said before try to eat in a lot of volume keep your protein high when you're cutting because this is going to be beneficial um you can search up the reasons for that those are like the most important things when you're cutting losing fat losing weight you know what i mean <laughs> um another important tip when you're doing this is that you want to slowly ease your body into it you don't just want to completely cut your calories like the next day you want to slowly do it because the slower you do it the more progress you can get out of each stage. If you simply cut your calories down, like let's say you cut your calories down by like 500 under your maintenance, your body will get used to that after a while. So it's very important that you like slowly cut it. Let's say your maintenance calorie is 2000. You want to do maybe like um, every week go down by 50 until you reach like a number like let's say 1500. So decide where your like limit is gonna be. So where is the like smallest amount of calories you're gonna consume. I don't recommend anything less than 500 um, under your maintenance calories. So cut down to about minus 500 don't really go any further than that it's not the healthiest i guess so try and keep it within that 500 range so like i said let's say your maintenance is 2000 it's different for everyone please calculate your own but you want to stop at 1500 so every week you go down 50 calories and this will slowly get your body down to like the desired calories and you'll be losing weight along the way because if you simply cut it your body will plateau after a while and you won't get as much progress as you could have done if you slowly ease yourself into it. Those are the topics on this I'm going to cover today. There are so many more topics in the fat loss subject. Like there's literally an infinite amount of topics in this. I could talk for days about this. And also I don't want to like overwhelm you guys and like information overload and then like make you just cry in your room because it's too much stuff to like take in so if you want me to do another video on this like maybe a, a part two where i go more in depth on certain 
aspects of it let me know in the comment section and i definitely will do a part two to this if you guys want me to so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching another youtube video with moi um make sure you've subscribed like the video follow me on instagram and all my social media accounts and yeah see you in the next one give it to me lick it, lick it inside now you know that i just want to make love want you to scream and shout and baby when i'm do do it this way do do <laughs>